What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Honey by Kehlani. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs from Kehlani that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you need to know to play Honey is that we're going to have a capo on 6th fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to a free one right up here. The next thing you need to know for Honey is the 5 chord shapes we need to play this song. Now, these are going to be a little bit weird and technical kind of chords. They're kind of like jazzy, bluesy type of chords that I don't actually know the specific names of. So, two things. If one of you, if any of you out there knows the specific names of these chords and can let everybody else know in the comments below, I would appreciate that. But also, if you don't know the names of these chords like me, you can just check out these charts right here, which will have exactly how to play them, as well as in the pinned comment below, I'll have exactly what I'm doing on each of these chords. So the first one is going to be a B shape and it'll look like this. The next one is going to be an E shape and it's going to look like this. The next one is going to be a regular A chord so you can play it like this or like this. The next one is going to be an F sharp minor shape and it's going to look like this. And the last one is going to be another kind of A shape we're just going to call this one A-ish and it's going to look like this. And I'll have chord charts, like I said, in the pinned comment below for all of those. So guys, for Honey, all we're going to have is two chord progressions that are going to repeat through the entire song. Now, our picking progression for each one of those is going to be this. I'm just going to use our first chord as an example. This is that B-ish shape that I was showing you. We're just going to pick twice quick, and then we're going to pause, and then we're going to have a certain amount of times that we play through that for each individual chord. Let me give you our first chord progression first. So what we've got is we've got that B shape. We're going to do that three times, so... Then we're going to change, we're going to go to that E shape once, and then we're going to go to the regular A shape. I'm going to play this one right here. We're going to do that three times. Now this is a little bit weird. This is where that little walk up crazy thing comes in. It goes like... So what we're doing there is we're just going A, D, G, B really quickly, and then we're going to go B and G, but we're going to add a third fret onto the B string there, so we're going to go like that and then we're going to take that back off and then B and G just on second fret with that regular A chord. I'm going to do that really slow really quick so you can see exactly what that looks like. So guys that's your whole first progression. Again I'm going to go through that really slow through the whole thing of that first progression and then I'll go through the whole thing full speed at the very end. That first progression slowed down will look about like this. So for our second progression, we're going to start with that B chord once again. We're going to do that three times. Then we're going to go up to that E chord again. Then we're going to go to that F sharp minor. Three times. Then we're going to do that A-ish chord once. And that's all for your second progression, guys. There's no weird walk up or anything like that on that one. That's it, guys. So I'm going to walk through that second progression slowly once, and I'm going to do the whole thing full speed after that. Guys, that is literally all that you need to know. This song just alternates between those two little chord progressions with that picking pattern through literally the entire song. It just goes back and forth between those two for the entire song. So I've shown you slow and I've shown you exactly how to do all those chords with all that picking. I'm gonna show you full speed so you can match it up with the song. A couple times through that should look about like this.
And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Honey on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 495 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new videos every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you have any song requests, I do two of those from the comments every single week, but I get a ton of them. So if you want to guarantee that I'll get to your song request, hit up my Patreon, links in the description. Lastly, guys, if you want to see a short preview of whatever song I'm teaching that day every single day, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that's going to be in the description below. Guys, this is a beautiful song, and it is a great, great acoustic guitar song. It's really not super tricky. The actual song, I believe the way that they're actually playing it from just watching it live a couple of times, I think they're playing it without a capo, and they're playing all kinds of crazy bar chords. So I wanted to capo up in this one and just really keep it like as beginner-friendly as possible. Um, and this is just, it's a really, really good song, and it sounds super complicated, but it's honestly not that bad because of the way we do those chords, you know? You really don't have to bar at all or anything like that, and then it just repeats those two chord progressions throughout the whole entire song over and over and over again. And so it sounds really complicated, it sounds really cool, but it's really actually a pretty beginner song. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see y'all soon.